cooking in the kitchen with Kristen. Cause Kristen is cooking in the kitchen. In the kitchen. Hi there, I'm going to show you how to make homemade Bloody Mary mix from the Ball Canning and Preserving Cookbook. We are going to start with two quarts of tomato juice. Here's one. <clears throat> and here's two. So the cook the book tells you how to make tomato juice from scratch but I just don't have the means to do that I don't have what it takes to like the food milk kind of thingy um, the next thing on the list is half cup of finely minced celery hearts celery hearts is the light green leafy centers so I diced up a whole bunch I believe this is probably this is all I had so I'm guessing that this is half a cup we diced it all up or minced it there we go. Next, we will need six tablespoons of Worcestershire sauce. Worst, how do you say it? Worcestershire. I just call it Worcestershire. Worcestershire sauce. Alrighty, we're gonna do six tablespoons. One. Oops. Two. Three. Four. <clears throat> five. Sorry, I'm getting over a cold and that lingering cough is just annoying. <clears throat> Six tablespoons of dill pickle juice. All right, I'm going to pour a little bit in my measuring cup and then use the same. Okay, ready? One, two, oops, three, four, five, six, and seven for insurance. And what a ditz, I could have just measured it out in the cup instead of doing all the tablespoons, but oh well. Okay, so there's that. Now we need a quarter cup of prepared horseradish. That sounds good. Hold on, let me rinse my measuring cup out real quick. All right, so quarter cup of prepared horseradish. all that in there and let's see oh two tablespoons of hot sauce well doing two tablespoons into this watch this let's get in a really deep conversation right now let's talk okay we're gonna do two tablespoons but I'm gonna pretend like I'm distracted what were you talking about oh I know right I know I know that's what she said. No, did he really? Oh my gosh, that's, oh, whoops. Was that two tablespoons? Oh, okay, there, sorry. What? I didn't put too much in, just enough for me. Alrighty, uh, two teaspoons of salt. <clears throat> Excuse the milk. So, I'm going to, darn it, I didn't prepare my salt. I have, I'm gonna use celery salt. It's not as salty, but it gives the good celery flavor. And I will taste this, I don't know, adding a little bit more. Cause celery salt, like I said, isn't too salty. Okay, <clears throat> there's that. A uh, teaspoon of black pepper. I can do that. Yes, I know it's overflowing. Can you say, I like it spicy? All right, um, one teaspoon of celery seeds. Sorry, let's see, whoops. And there you go, that's a teaspoon of celery seed. I am almost out, <clears throat> excuse me. One teaspoon of smoked paprika. Oopsies. Let me wipe this off real quick. Okay. Mmm, that smells smoky. Alrighty. And 
one cup of bottled lemon juice, but that lemon juice goes in after you boil this, after you cook this. So I'm going to give this a stir. I'm going to move this to the stove and then we'll take it from there. Let me do a little drive by. Oh my, that's good. Okay, all right, I just put it on the stove and I have to bring it to a boil for five minutes, then I'm gonna take it off and I'm going to put it in the jars for 35 minutes. Okay, I just took the mix off of the stove. Now I add one cup of lemon juice. 